we're getting to the end of this, which means we're getting to see the very top echelon of talent here. Excuse me a second. Does anyone else want to commentate at this point? Oh, okay. All right. Just trying to keep it fresh for you guys. We'll keep it rolling, though. As we continue on to this winner semi set, Lutni and Neotono both going with the mains here. Alrighty, yeah. So, G2 and uh, Wario here, both getting into it. Uh, Niatono clawing his way through the bracket to get here. Um, and now, uh, he may have met his match at this point. Lutni is a top player in the world, for sure, and an amazing Wario made. Oh my goodness, that killed at 87% after the hit. That back air is just so potent. and. Really, most moves are going to be made to look a lot more powerful than they are in a character as large as Pichu, but that move, make no mistake, it's powerful. Definitely. Nito, Nitono, uh cooking here now as he's able to get, it, to get these conversions going. Yeah, into that down air. I mean... I feel like... Oh. Pichu's kind of a character that a lot of people have just forgotten about. And this character can do a lot of damage. Uh, already we're seeing Neotono start to do some real work with this character, though. He's converting um, off of these Thunder Jolts, too, and into the grab, unable to get the up air afterwards, but he's still just knowing where Gluttony's going to land. The question is if he can get a hitbox out or a grab attempt in time. Yeah. Uh, Gluttony... Firing off, uh, popping off at the beginning, able to get that stock real quick. Um, but suddenly, I mean, as in Smash, the, the lead has shifted back here, back and forth here. Uh, mark of a good game for sure here. As both these players are tied at percent, uh, of course, that's something that fluctuates, especially with a character like Pichu. <laughs> Air dodge not going to be caught by Neotono. Tech rolls backwards, but into the grab. Dash attack there, taking it from Gluttony there, and Neotono now has a whole stock lead at this point. That being said, though, very much at kill percent, and still has not used a WAF so far this game. I'm sure Neotono's mission is for that WAF to not come out at all. Alright, up throw. Lutni gets a sock with that bike. I mean, it's a huge hitbox, right? Okay, Lutni timing his up E there perfectly so Neotono will miss uh, with the down air. But he's at 18%. One landing up air, even a nair if he gets the DI correct, could be the end of this stock. Yeah, are we going to see... Neotono get robbed here. He's got a lead here, but Wario can take it from you so easily. Oh, the reverse Thundershock almost being his dual doom. Oh my oh goodness! No! He does get that waff, and just at the very extent of the hitbox, Neotono knows he had that one just available to him, and it just got taken away. That was, that was dirty. And I loved it. Pichu's gonna be taking baths for days before he gets that stench off of him. How many times have we seen Glutony? We think he's out of it, but we never want to count him out of it because of situations like that. That's just what Wario does. He's smash ultimate Jigglypuff in this game. 
crazy aerial mobility and can kill you just immediately. Rolls right into the up tilt though. Yeah, it's not going to lead anything to anything uh, with Gluttony being um, unable to pull the trigger on that. Waft. Now throw. Oh my goodness, excellent read on the DI there and hunts for that down air. Neotono only 56% taken and Gluttony is already in a bit of trouble. Yeah, I mean, you'll, I'm surprised to see that from Gluttony, uh, but sometimes you just want to DI in to give yourself a little better chance to weave in and out of the hitboxes. Your opponent's gonna throw out and he just took the second stock there. Twice Neotono's within a minute. Not done here. And Niatono showing you why he's one of the most feared players, not only in Japan, but in the entire world here. Yeah. Gluttony about to get three stocked here. And Niatono just playing this so casually. He's not overextending. Even neutral get up and get away out of that out of that. In the face of the command grab too, it's not as active as the animation might suggest. Okay, forward throw, gets him with the bike. It's Neotono's turn. Oh, some munchins. Okay, I'll throw into T Jolt. And what a resounding statement from Neotono there. Completes the three stock and Lutney just taken aback at how little he was able to touch the ground there. Niatono just kept the combos going, and not only kept the combos going, kept the transition from combo to advantage state perfectly in sync with what he was trying to do. Yeah, that was impressive coming out from Niatono. It felt like he was just Well, last game, I mean, the first game was stolen from him. That game, he said, you're going to have to do a lot to steal this game from me. Yeah, this game built up so much momentum that those first three stops if and just was able to see it through. If game one was stolen, he just upgraded his security system right there. <laughs> there you go. Need we say more? And Niatono carrying that momentum with him into this next game, already putting on 83% Onto Gluttony here. Yeah, Gluttony's actually only managed to touch him once. All the rest has been self damage. Finally able to get a landing fair into the grab. Armold here. Back throw, but. He'll still be alive. Lutney just a bit late on the F-Tilt. All right, forward throw. That will kill at this this percent. Uh, Pichu's forward throw, fairly strong. Will definitely kill at 180. And even though Town and City has a very high top blast zone, the side blast zones are actually fairly close. attack from Gluttony, gonna buy him some time, get Neotono off of him. Dash attack. I like throwing up the bike there, just trying to catch Gluttony try drifting around, but it will leave Neotono open there to get him grabbed. And now he's gonna lose that sock to that dash attack. Drops the shoulder and finally able to get a kill. Waft coming out just in time too. Gets a spike hip off to the down B, but that's not going to be enough on its own to kill Gluttony there. A 
I'm not quite sure if that was a misinput, but side special actually going to carry him off the stage. It's no matter. He had stage control back. Great job here. Yeah. Gluttony's outside of that range where that that's going to lead to anything. I mean, with a little more percent, that forward throw will kill, though. And Niatono finally able to get that kill. I've noticed a lot of other, a lot of players uh, able to punish. Oh my goodness! He got the roll in, but just left him a tiny bit short of Wario's up air. Yeah, that could have evened up the game right there. Uh, a lot of players have been getting better at punishing that the bike that Wario uses. Um, we've seen it a lot at Congo Saga, and we saw it right there with Niatono catching that last stock with the fair forward air. Up smash, and before he can land, gets the back air. Still has full waft available. Yeah, and that, that's super scary for Niatono because Gluttony was able to get that stock without burning that waft, which means this, uh, this game could end in an instant. Whips the grab, but spot dodges to rectify the error. Oh my oh, goodness, and he gets no. the Wario hitbox himself. Yep. Wario just turns into a human projectile after using Wop, so if you're not caught in the initial blast, you're not safe at all. Yeah, that was uh, very clever there from Glutini. And Niatono just uh, caught off guard there by the, the rising fat hitbox. man being repelled through his, the air. By his own, by his own flatulence. Flatulence, yes. I mean, I would be surprised too, although I'm not a miniature yellow rat that shoots electricity at people, so I don't have the ability to maybe empathize as well as I'd like to. Anyway, this next game here looks like Niatono is going to start things off. As all games, he started off really strong here uh, with a quick 40%, but. Glutiny firing back a lot faster than before. Yeah, and, uh, something into Nair, up air, up air. Glutiny just loves that. What does Pichu taste like? Only Wario knows. But the only thing Niatono is tasting is the upper half of Wario's head. Glutiny with the up smash is going to draw first blood. And a few more munches on the mouse. And Glutiny is building up a, quite a lead here, but now Niatono's getting a little bit going here. He's uh, keeps getting these grabs, uh, but finally is able to get uh, something that will lead into death here. Yeah, and after panic air dodging, after the first throw, Glutiny was so sure to not air dodge there and just forgot to DI. Tried to go for the no DI mix up, but Niatono had that scouted out beautifully. Okay. Back air there. Glutiny's really good at spacing those back airs up in the air. We've seen that him able to do that in the previous matches and take a lot of thoughts even within this own this set. And it really felt like I was going to really say it really felt like the momentum was in Niatono's favor, favor there, but then Glutiny just came back 